Hi everyone, so I want to talk to you about Dr. Michael Son's School of Maths New Year Camp. Okay, so we've confirmed the dates are going to be the 8th to the 14th of January, Monday to Sunday, and it's going to be held at the iconic Sydney Academy of Sports at Narrabeen, New South Wales. Okay, so I'm really excited to be telling you about this camp because at the start of the year, a camp like this gives us a chance to focus our mindset um, for the things we want to achieve this year. And we get to also meet a lot of all the students that um, are from all over Australia. Okay, so if you are a student that's coming from another state that's not New South Wales, uh, there is a travel discount to, to encourage you to come without worrying too much about the costs. And, and what does it mean to start the new year with the right mindset? Okay, so, so, so at our school, um, the, I, I want to create a culture where we do maths as a community instead of in isolation. And we really focus on getting our mind condition right. And we also focus on, on um, physical conditioning and getting our body right. So that, that's a perfect thing to be able to do at the Sydney Academy of Sport because in our breaks, we get to use the basketball court, which is like this huge court you can see in the other video, um, the, the beach volleyball court, the, the Olympic size swimming pool, uh, the, the, the gym equipment. Okay. So that'll, that'll allow us to get, um, the physical part of our conditioning correct. And for the mental part, um, we'll be learning a lot of maths. Okay. Um, I think when it comes to maths, especially in high school, you shouldn't worry too much about exactly what kind of maths we're learning, but in terms of like the specific topics, there'll be a lot of maths Olympiad topics where one could really prepare for the, for example, the AMO, the Australian Maths Olympiad, which is basically two weeks or three weeks after the camp is finished on February 6th and 7th. Um, but I think people need to take maybe a more broader approach to mathematics than just necessarily specifically preparing for an exam. But we definitely will be covering a lot of things that will help us prepare for the exam. And we hope that, so we've already got pretty much the, many of the best students in New South Wales coming and we've got students from Victoria and we hope we can get the best students in Australia all to meet in one place um, and enjoy mathematics together. Uh, that's a vision I have. It's the fourth camp that in a row we've run. So it started with a camp in Oberon and then Broken Bay. And then last year at Wiseman's Ferry. And so uh, this is a, becoming a bit of a tradition now. And we also have the, the best maths in Australia. Okay. Especially for high school students. So, so what does that even mean? I mean, so first of all, we have, we have topics that are like interesting for high school students, but, but presented rigorously. Okay. And, and we question and discover the mathematics. Okay. We don't just like lecture and memorize. Okay. We actually use the math to solve problems and we solve problems to understand the mathematics. Okay. Um, what else is there? So maybe like a typical day. So if the, the exact program will definitely depend on who ends up signing up, but there is some broad, um, program ideas that will apply probably no matter what. So, you know, a typical day. So you have the, the three meals provided by the Sydney Academy of Sport, roughly like eight o'clock, 12 o'clock, and maybe six, six o'clock, something like that. And then in between we'll have various maths activities. Okay. Um, and then we'll have an exercise break and on certain days we'll have maybe a games night and last year we played poker and it was very fun and um, and obviously there'll be there'll be some free time for you to um, socialize with the other students
Yeah, so Yeah, I think I think um also camp is, you know, what what you make of it as well. So like um if you're if you're there to um to learn maths, you can spend a lot of time playing maths. If you're there just to have a holiday, I mean, there, there are, there's a group of people who are probably more interested in that. So we'll have a lot more staff this year than previous years, so we'll be able to have sort of more streams. Where um, whereas before we really only had you know like one stream for like the really advanced students, um, and then we sort of had a sort of a second stream start where there was more background and. Um, preparation for, for more junior students. Uh, this time we should be able to cater for basically everyone's needs. So, um, so I guess last time there was a, there was basically the really advanced stream which covered pretty much everyone at some point. Um, there was like the the junior stream which which um, helped you prepare for understanding things in the advanced stream, and then there was a sort of a little group. Um, you might call it maybe the normal stream, where um, they learn sort of more uh, basic topics in maths, and it's not going to be like a camp where you kind of you're forced to just like do lots and lots of problems and homework and all this kind of stuff. It's really it's really what you make of it. So there'll be a, there'll be the opportunity to learn lots of maths. And there'll be the opportunity to um, meet lots of interesting people from other states and do math together with them. But but there's not going to be any sort of um, uh, obligation. There's not going to be any. Uh, you're not you're not you don't have to do um, like X amount of maths and you have to talk to X people. It's it's it, it, it's 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 a very uh, uh, we value we value freedom at this camp, and I think. Um, the, the students should have a lot of fun, okay, and that's what's, I think, the case in the previous years, the students all had a lot of fun, and and we want to have fun the right way, I guess that's the point, you know, like, we don't want to have mindless fun where we just kind of do random things and scream really loudly and shout for no reason. Um, we want to have meaningful fun, which comes from sort of improving ourselves both mentally and physically, and and um, and sort of developing various relationships with other people. Okay. Um, but yeah. Um, so if, if you want to enroll, um, you have to pay a nine hundred ninety nine dollar deposit to save your spot, and we'll probably need um, some. Like full payment, there's some deadline just before the camp, but um, but yeah. So when you do that, I add you to the Discord, and the 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 planning will be kind of updated live, and people can kind of see what we're up to. So we're hoping to probably get a bus on Monday morning and come back Sunday evening, but. The specific details of the camp will depend on sort of exactly who who shows up, and hopefully we can get the planning um, done by the start of January. But you know, to make I think to make a, a camp that works really well for the students, um, there shouldn't be too much sort of planning without regard for the students. I think it really depends on the students. And so it's best we know who's coming as soon as possible. So if you can if you can let us know as soon as possible instead of arriving at the last minute, then more of the planning will take you into account. Okay. Um, yeah, and then yeah, in terms of communication and stuff with Discord and stuff, like there's really a lot of information and it comes um, pretty quickly. I think it's pretty pointless explaining it before the camp, um, like before you sign up for camp, because a lot of it will change when you do sign up for camp. Um, but once you do sign up for camp in Discord, you'll eventually get up. You'll get updated live, basically on the progress of the planning. Um, 
and yeah, I mean, we've had a lot of fun in, in previous years, and I think we'll have a lot of fun this year. Um, so, yeah, I think in the last couple of years, we had two students each year make, like, the, the team selection test for the Australian IMO team, and they all mostly did really well in the AMO as well. Um, and... Students were also surprisingly good at sport. Okay, so we really enjoyed playing basketball in our breaks. Um, some students really like to swim, play volleyball. So there's some other interesting activities at the Sydney Academy of Sport I haven't um, committed to yet, but there's there's a um, what you call it? It's kind of like a dodgeball game that seemed very interesting and fun that we might do. But yeah, so it really, it really is, um, um, how would you say it? It's really quite dynamic. It's going to have a lot of activities. It should be fun. And yeah, I'm really excited to, to let you know about it. And I, I really hope you can sign up. All right. All right thanks for your time.